God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I'm rejoicing in the day the Lord has made. What a beautiful day. Had time to conversate with God, read His Word, meditate upon His Word. And today, uh, the, the verse of this week is, I always have a, a verse that I memorize. And so this verse is Galatians 6, 9. It reads as follows. Do not grow weary and do, while doing good. In due season you shall reap. If you do not lose heart. It's kind of like, sometimes like when I'm doing the will of God or if I'm showing love to others who are unworthy of my love, I have to give myself a reminder, a pep talk, like, listen, you're not doing this in vain, there's a reward at hand, don't lose focus, don't give up, like, we must continue showing love to others, being kind, with, like, the fruit of the Spirit, you know, gentleness, kindness, love, peace, joy, you know, we must continue and showing, um, Kindness to others, being gentle and loving, loving our enemy, giving them food, giving them water, even though when they're not worthy of that, that's the the mind that we need to have as believers, as Christians. If we're if we're um, labeling ourselves, I'm a Christian, then this message is for you. We must think and sow in the spirit, because I believe in Romans as says that if you reap. If you sow in the spirit, you will reap in things in the spirit. But if you sow in the things of the flesh, you will reap in, you know, the things of the flesh. You will reap destruction. So if we're doing these things, and it's hard. I mean, we live in a world, in a society, where it's like, I'm going to match your energy. I'm going to do it to you how you do to me. But that's not how God wants us to act and think like. That's not the mentality that God wants us to have. We need to think like Christ. We need to have a mind like Christ. Look at Jesus. He In his circle, there was uh, one that didn't like him. There was envious of him, plotting, you know, to turn him in. And Jesus knew these things. He perceived their thoughts. He knew. But um, he showed him love. He showed him kindness and mercy. You know, it, how is it that in your own circle, you know that there's someone that don't like you, that, you know, that's about to turn you in and kill you. And so, Jesus was the great example that we must follow. I know a lot of times I speak for myself. I don't want people around me that don't like me. I don't want people around me that talks about me. Like, I don't want that type of energy or negativity around me, right? And it's hard. It's really, really, really hard to show someone kindness when they're being rude to you. But we cannot have the mentality where I say, I'm going to, I'm going to match their energy. I'm going to do to them how they do to me. No, that's not, that's not the mind that God wants us to have. That's not the way God wants us to be. We must, we must sow in the spirit. We must be like Christ. There's a reward at hand that says, do not grow um, weary. Don't get tired. I know it's tiring all the time doing the right thing. I got to do the right thing. I got to be kind to this person. But God's saying, don't get tired. Remember, there's a reward. Remember, there's a reward at hand. Do not lose heart. Do not get up. We must remember the promise that we're going to inherit it if we keep doing the things that the Lord wants us to do. We're different from the world. We cannot think like them. We cannot have a mind like a carnal person, right? It says that if you do not lose heart, don't lose heart. Don't give up. In due due season, you are going to reap. You're going to reap blessings, right? You see like, well, I don't see none of that. I don't, I'm doing good and showing kindness and mercy to those, you know, who are rude to me, who are unkind and I'm worthy of my love to my family, my friends, my associates at work or whoever, our neighbor. But in order for a, a, a orange to be orange, right? I mean, to be planted. So once you plant that seed, 
it's going to go through the process of where it's going to start growing. It's going to start giving form. It's no longer going to be like a seed. It's going to sprout out. And eventually, it's going to be an orange. But it, we have to wait. So when you you got to have the mentality like, listen, wait a second. Yes, that is right. You know, a, a, a tree doesn't just pop up a tree the next day. You know, fruits doesn't come of fruit the next day. It's a process, a growth process that they have to go through in order for, to, for it to become that fruit or that orange, you know? So we have to remember that that there is a promise. Never die my head. There is a promise. There is a reward at hand if we do not lose focus, if we do not give up. Let's continue to treat others with love. Let's continue to treat others with mercy. Looking at them with eyes of mercy. I remember um, when I order something from Amazon and they mess up my order or they deliver to their... I mean, I was like, I don't like, no, they didn't. Like, I was so upset. Like, and I will get upset, let me tell you, because you just got my order wrong. But that's... I remember, like, in those situations, God reminded me, like, uh-uh, you still need to work on that attitude, boo-boo. You need to work on that attitude, sis. Like, that's not how I want you to act. And he taught me how to be patient. He taught me how to be kind, have self-control. And now when, when Amazon messed up my order, I, I call them calmly. I have a different attitude. I don't, I'm not yelling at them and upset. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm in a calm manner because that's how the Lord wants us to be. He wants, he doesn't want us to be that way. Where if we're going to be children, his children, we need to start acting like it. So guys, do not give up. It's a word of encouragement. Remember, there's a reward. I know that it's easy to be like, well, I'm going to do to you how you do to me. I'm going to match your energy. That's the type of, that's what the world that we live in. But that's not what God wants from us, right? So we're called to be different. We're called to be, we're called to do things in the spirit. Plant, uh -huh. Sow and plant things in the spirit and not of the flesh. That's those, the flesh will take over and then we're going to start matching energies and we're going to see destruction. And that's not the path that God wants us in. So God bless my brothers and sisters. You have a great one.